Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 1st, 2024. Well, we finished up the week. I hope everyone had a great Halloween, or excuse, excuse me, finished up the month. I hope your Halloween was a lot of fun. Um, and we are jumping into November with quite a little bit of uncertainty here in the market. So let's take a look at what happened overnight. Overnight in the markets, um, we had Asian markets mostly lower last night. Uh, Shanghai down 0.24%, Nikkei was down um, 2.63%, Australia down. Um, um, we ended up with India unchanged last night, but Hong Kong had a good day up 0.93 percent if we look at europe this morning europe is trying to recover the losses from yesterday bumping back up here a little bit we've got the dax up 0.41 percent footsie's up 0.52 and the cac is up 0.45 percent uh, here this morning now, if we take a look at U.S. futures, U.S. futures are already also looking for a bounce back up after a round of big tech reports last night that were better than expected. If we take a look at the uh, Dow futures up 0.28%, S&P 500 futures up 0.32%, and NASDAQ futures up 0.39%. So thinking about those reports um, last night, we have, well, kind of an interesting, um, interesting market set up for the day. Um, let's take a quick look at um, what's going on in bonds. Unfortunately, bonds are still having a problem. Now, I don't know if this is a disagreement with inflation situation or worry about the jobs numbers or what this is, but bonds continue to disagree with the overall market. Uh, continuing to show strength. Right now, the two-year bonds at 4.18, 10-year bonds are at 4.30, and the 30-year bonds are at 4.48. So we're going to have to keep an eye on those as we move along here. Looking at oil this morning, well, we've got more geopolitical issues uh, cropping up here. When we take a look at XLE, um, oil is moving up a bit this morning. As a matter of fact, oil futures at the moment are up, um, let's see, a dollar forty-two at seventy sixty-seven a barrel. Trying to push these um, things back up because there is new intelligence um, that Iran is preparing a strike on Israel, and uh, they're suggesting it is likely to occur prior to um, our presidential election. So watch that carefully. There could be some some activity even this weekend. So watch that close. And that's raising some tensions here in those oil markets. Brent crude up $1.36 at $74.17 a barrel. Um, natural gas, however, is tremendously weak, breaking down to new lows here, recent lows um, in natural gas. So um, you'd, looking at this, you'd think we're never going to need natural gas again. Um, let's take a look at um, gold now. Precious metals had a rough day yesterday, and deservedly so. We uh, this had been stretched so so much here in the last few days, um, and you can see had a pretty rough day yesterday. But this morning, gold futures are up. Right now, gold futures are up nine dollars and sixty cents an ounce. And if we take a look at silver. Silver is also trying to bounce back from a really rough day and coming into some price support and over here we'll see if the trend and support hold in that. Copper's higher today, platinum and palladium is a little bit higher but once again palladium had a really rough day yesterday again after zooming to the upside. A lot of volatility in palladium so keep an eye on that. And then if we take a look at our crypto markets here this morning, well, uh, Bitcoin um, having um, a little bit of selling here this morning down $445 a coin in, um, in that arena. Um, Ether is also down 2.21. 
um, or 0.9 percent. So kind of keep an eye on those this morning. A um, little bit of mix. Um, XRP Litecoin is up just slightly here today. So a little bit of mix in those cryptos here today. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Well, we've got a wild and crazy day set up for today with um, uh, several uh, notable reports to be paying attention to. We um, also have some um, numbers um, on the economic front to be paying attention to. So how about we just jump right into this. If we take a look at these charts, let's remember we want to look at these charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be um, as we prepare for our day. Because if we if we trade with a bias, we're going to end up in trouble in the market. Um, let's take a look. As you can see here on the diamonds, we pushed down pretty strongly here yesterday, pushing into this price support, as I had suggested, might be the case if the bears had some inspiration to push. And they, they really did. Pushed on down here. And you'll see that we failed through our 50-day moving average and closed below that yesterday. But today, here in the pre-market, we're trying to pump that back up and see if we can reclaim that the 50 day moving average so first thing in here if the bulls find inspiration here today i'm going to look for a break um, and maybe right in there and then first thing we'll have to see if we can fill this little gap push up into that gap and then pushing back up into this resistance area here in the chart if we can pop up through there then I'm going to suggest that we have to come up here and we've got to test the top side of that big black candle and this little consolidation in here. So see if we can push up through there and then we're up here attacking this resistance in the chart once again. Be a big, pretty big day if we could push that far. But you know the way the market's acting so emotionally, anything is possible. Now on the bearish side, if the bears were to find any inspiration for today, then I'm going to suggest that a retest of this support could be possible. And if that support breaks, that's where a little bit of fear is really going to crop up in the market. If we drop down into this zone, notice there's a little bit of price support right in there that we could grab, but the stronger price support is going to be down here again pretty big point moves possible in this market to try and catch some of these support or resistance areas in the chart if we take a look at our um, s p 500 rough day for the s p 500 yesterday as tech really kind of disappointed but we're going to get a little help here today um you know microsoft um whoops reported um, after the bell yesterday it is bouncing up a little bit after that big sell-off here um, on the day we got apple um, here um, reported last night um, still not a big pop-up here one of the big concerns that everybody is worried about is of course the the massive ai spend that's going on that's really not returning anything yet and the same thing here on amazon um, amazon um, said that they their capital spend um, increased by 81 percent and they're expecting it to go higher next uh, next year so could start dipping into some of those profits but it had a good day pushing up and then intel intel had a really good um day going on right after earnings and then doggone it um conference call seemed to settle it back down and it's actually looking to open just slightly lower here this morning so kind of some interesting moves here overall in the market so um, tech may be um, losing a little bit of its shine here and its ability to drive the market. Um, we'll have to watch that closely. Now, speaking of the SPY, we also want to be paying attention to the fact that we came down here and tested that 50-day moving average. So pretty common to see a bounce up off of that. That's what we're getting this morning. So if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration here today, let's look and see if we can push back up here toward that resistance right there in the chart.
If we can do that, then maybe we can break through the top of that candle and push up into this gap right in here to see if we can make that move back up here toward that resistance level that we struggled with so much here recently. So watch that carefully. And if the bears, if the bears find inspiration, well, it's really not that tough to see here. We might break that low of that candle again and come down here to this very strong level of price support in the chart. So keep an eye on that. If we were to break below that, however, I think it, there's gonna be some significant fear uh, come up in the market if that were the case. And our QQQ, well, our QQQ bouncing back up just a little bit after a really rough day yesterday. And you can see if we were to get those bulls pushing on through, first thing we need to do is we need to deal with that price resistance in the chart right up through there and if we can break through that then we start looking at this top side of that uh, big black candle and then of course pushing up toward this trend break where we broke the the upside trend and this um, pretty substantial resistance area right here breaking back through there well then we really have that opportunity we're up here attacking some of these recent highs and then we could see if we can reach out here and break through that all-time high in the queues. Now, looking at uh, the bearish side of this, if the bears were to get going, push down below that low, and then you can see there's a little bit of price support maybe right through there we might catch, but if we fall on through there, I think this bigger area of price support could be chest tested here in the chart. So watch that carefully here if that were the case and you'll want to make sure and recognize that that 50 day moving average is pretty close. So if those bears get going, um, pretty good chance we test that 50 day moving average. And if we take a look at our Russell IWM, had a rough day yesterday and unfortunately the pattern here is not so um, not so inspiring. We have a lower high followed by a lower low now in IWM, but there is still good news here. We got this little upside trend going on in here. We've got a good price support in that chart right there. So if those bears were to find some inspiration here today, a test, a good to hard test of this area could be likely. So watch that carefully for that. It would be a failure of that that would raise some major concern, I think, here in the Russell. So just keep a close eye on that. And then of course, if the bulls were to find inspiration, let's see if we can break back through some resistance levels here in the chart, pushing back up toward this downtrend to see if we can break that big old black candle from yesterday and deal with this downtrend here in the chart. That'll be the first step. And if we can break back through there, then maybe we can start attacking these highs again. Let's take a look at our VIX. Well, our VIX um, finally saw a little bit of fear coming into the market yesterday, and we pushed up pretty strongly here, pushed up into this resistance. Now, I'm expecting that with the bullishness that we're seeing here in the pre-market, that we'll get a little pullback on that here um, today. But the question is going to be, will we start to hold on to this upside trend? Will we find some support in here? to hold on in the VIX. Um, right now around 23 handles here in the VIX showing um, some considerable fear coming up. And remember everyone that as that happens, if you're an option trader, all option premiums go higher. So you'll wanna be paying attention to that. Um, if we were to break through, if the bears were to find some inspiration today and break through here, I would watch that carefully because I think some real serious concern um, could creep up and we could see a rapid amount of selling coming into the market. Now, if the bulls can find, continue to find that inspiration today, and we certainly have reason to believe that to be true because Fridays have been one of those uh, days that we just... Uh, buy, 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 buy here lately. But if they can continue that inspiration, let's push back down and see if we can test some of these areas of support in that trend. We really need to see that break to the downside. There's just too much uncertainty here in the market um, with the geopolitical things. And now everyone's really going to be focusing in on what happens on the election. And probably more importantly, 
what happens after the election because of there's so much emotion in this election is there going to be turmoil like a lot of people are suggesting let's hope not let's take a look at our um, t2122 T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, had a nice little pullback yesterday in uh, that uh, move. But what's interesting to me is it really didn't seem to have a whole lot of momentum in that selling. It seemed to be pretty well controlled. But if those bears can find reason in the data today to push us down, just kind of keep in mind, we still have some downside room here. Um, that we could uh, pull back. If the bulls, however, find inspiration and can follow through with the pre-market uh, bounce up that we've got going, then we certainly have plenty of upside room for them. So keep an eye on that. But right now our T2122 is probably giving us more of a hint of a relief rally than anything else. And if we take a look at our T2108, well, T2108 had a kind of a rough day yesterday, pushing back down. We dropped below 40%, less than 40% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. So we'll want to be keeping an eye on that. Um, um, with the bullishness this morning, I'm expecting this to push back up. The question is, will it be strong enough? Can we break back through some of these resistance levels and start pushing back up in the chart? Right now, those bears seem to be gaining a little bit of ground here in the market and a little bit more enthusiasm as we push things down. We're well below that 50% area here of stocks um, above their 40-day moving average. If we take a look at our uh, T2107, the percentage of stocks above the 200-day, also had a little bit of a rough day, but we're still holding above 50% here, so it's not nearly as critical. We've got a good little support area in here. If the bulls can find inspiration, let's look for a retest up in here, see if we can start attacking some of these resistance levels here in the chart. If the bears were to continue to push, then maybe we come down here toward that 50% area here in T2107. And here's what I was talking about, the T2101, although we did see a little bit of increase in breadth yesterday on that bearish wave, it really didn't have a whole lot of momentum. Um, it, so it seemed to be a rather controlled selling, at least at the moment. So watch that click carefully if we get a little bit of relief here today. We want to see on the bullish side, if the bulls are going to push, we need to see that breadth continuing to push up. And remember, we're coming out up from under these um, um, restrictions here on the dark pool with the big techs now out of the way in their earnings next week they could start in on their corporate buybacks and um, really start to see some breadth improve here in the market so watch that closely let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar well we've got a little bit to be paying attention to here this morning we've got an employment situation number of course the market is going to be very keyed in on this there is some concern that um, we will see numbers drop here pretty pretty substantially one of the major factors would be the Boeing strike that's gone on quite a while but there is some news on that um, they may have a tentative agreement um, and there's going to be a vote on that on Monday to maybe end the strike. So keep an eye on that. You might want to keep an eye on Boeing itself. Um, taking a look here, um, consensus is suggesting 125,000 um, uh, uh, for a new payroll. So um, watch that carefully. They're looking at unemployment rates staying the same. 4.1%, private payrolls here at 90,000. They're looking for a negative 30,000 in manufacturing, showing just how weak our manufacturing is here in the United States. Um, they didn't give us any estimate here on participation rate, but um, average hourly um, um, earnings, they're looking at those declining, which is a disappointment, I think, for a lot of folks because those cost measures, um, uh, you know, uh, home vehicles insurance uh, food 
um, hasn't really come down enough and that we're starting to see wages fall here. We've got um, average hourly earnings here year over year staying flat in the participation rate, or excuse me, average work week being in there at 34.2. So watch that number here today could be uh, very, very important in market moving. We got a PMI uh, manufacturing number there. Uh, last time here, we were at 47.8, still in contraction on manufacturing. But the more notable manufacturing number is gonna be right here in the ISM. They're looking for that to improve from a 0.2 to a 0.6, as you can see here, but still expecting this to stay under 50%, which means our manufacturing is still in contraction. And then of course, we've got a construction spending number here, construction spending, um, looking for that to go up to a 0.1 from a negative 0.1, keep an eye on that. Logan is supposed to be making some comments today, which is odd. I'm guessing it's probably pre-recorded statements or something in here, just simply because the blackout period as we head into the next FOMC decision. So watch closely for that next week. Baker Hughes rig count, and then we're going to wrap up the week here on the economic calendar. On the earnings calendar, we have a bit more going on here, but not near as much as we've had the rest of this week if you can take a look here notable earnings for today by the way there i do my no blog fridays here and so there will be no blog today so make sure um, to take a screenshot of this if you want to catch some of those earnings reports here this morning. We have already heard from a few of these companies here this morning. So take a look at like um, Cardinal Health. Cardinal Health is trying to move a little bit higher. Um, we've got uh, CBOE um, reporting this morning. Um, looks like we've got no action in there on that. Uh, Charter Communications will be reporting today. We've got CHD reporting today. A little drop and popping back up here on CHD. Uh, Dominion Energy, um, CVX um, reporting this morning, showing some bullishness in there. Fubo um, reporting today. We also heard from ExxonMobil making a push back to the upside, reporting well, and then Wayfair also getting a little bit of a boost here to the upside this morning. So keep an eye on some of those notables here for today. If we were to take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today, if you guys could do me this quick favor before we get to that, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click the bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to grow. Thank you so much, everyone, for your kind support of the effort in putting these videos out. I truly, truly appreciate it. It means an awful lot to me. Thank you very much. And for those of you who share these videos on your social media feed and for those who also uh, continue to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link, you guys are truly awesome. Thank you very, very much. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up for today. Remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence, be very, very careful here in this market and be um, paying attention to all of this data coming at us. The disappointment in the um, NASDAQ reports could have some lingering effects here in the market and just kind of a drift here in the tech sector and that's been the primary driver for the market so watch that carefully here first off um take a look at bumble i'm gonna continue to say bumble is setting up for that upside move unfortunately it's rested so long now that it may actually continue to rest all the way out here to its earnings but still a very nice potential chart and one I want to be paying attention to here for that upside move. So keep an eye on that. Um, still um, um, keeping an eye here on Pfizer for the longer term pattern. This is a long term 
round and bottom breakout pattern. And here, let me get that in here. Holding above that 50 day moving average, just looking for some inspiration in here. So far, not there here in the market. It's one of the things that we've been struggling here recently is just that lack of momentum in a lot of areas of the market. So, um, but I am still keeping uh, kind of a close eye on that. Let's keep an eye here on gold as well. Gold continues to be pretty amazingly strong. Um, and there are estimates from um, several of the big banks out here. Whoops several of the big banks that gold could go on higher here. In fact, they said yesterday another 10% could be likely. Estimates of gold going up to around $3,000 an ounce. And just for reference, this morning we are at $2,761 an ounce in the future. So there still is potential for upside. And as long as we continue to rest and hold in this trend, I would look for that next opportunity here in gold uh, for that move to the upside. When we take a look at the US dollar, US dollar last few days pulled back, found some support in here and you can see this morning it is bouncing back up and that's creating some additional pressures here in the market as we continue to see that strength in the dollar growing here so watch that carefully as well us dollar could have some major impacts on the overall market let's take a look at <clears throat> at a few other places here docu docu has been struggling in this range here for quite a while but notice we're continuing to hold this support if we can get some kind of bullishness going in here in the market i would watch for that opportunity maybe that push on through here to the upside could maybe get something going keep an eye on that if you take a look at carvana boy big popping move on its earnings report what this needs to do is get a little bit of rest a little bit of consolidation in here might actually even just kind of come back here toward the trend but then i'd be looking for that next opportunity here clearly a very very bullish chart here in that stock um, shop take a look at shop shop is starting to worry me here for a potential downside had a, quite a slip yesterday and then ended up bouncing back in here so it's still in that consolidating range here on that chart but you do want to notice this slight downtrend coming into play it's got a good support right in here so it may not be ready to fall off of this just yet but if this stumbles at all Watch that carefully. We could start moving down here in Shopify. Keep a close eye on that. DoorDash had a good earnings report. It popped and dropped yesterday with that bearishness of the market. But with the bulls coming back in here today, I would watch for this opportunity potentially in here that Dash could continue that move to the upside. Worth keeping an eye on here, I think, um, overall. Um, other places, I think we should be starting to keep a little bit of an eye here on um, energy. Um, ExxonMobil, obviously a big resistance level here in the chart. They reported well this morning and they increased their dividend. So watch this carefully. If this can break out of this downtrend and maybe get through this resistance, resting in here i would look for that next opportunity and we might start seeing an upside trend develop here in um, oil particularly if we continue to see these geopolitical situations um, get worse i mean obviously the tensions in the middle east are um, not great so watch that carefully suboptimal some people might say if we take a look at roku roku had a really rough day yesterday breaking down so um, after this big break any rally back up here in um, roku i would be watching for a resistance level in this chart and i would be watching for that potential short as those consumers Pull back here in the market. Big miss there yesterday, so watch that closely on Roku. Um, not a shining example of a great looking chart, that is for sure. 
So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here this week. Remember, everyone, that we still have that special going on. You can come over into the Right Way Options Trading Room, and you can be there for a full 30 days for $7. We'd love to have you there. And one of the things that we do every single day, I do a two-hour training session where you guys can ask me anything and I do my best to help you with that with your training trading to get you on track help you with rules help you with guidelines get you into a trading start strategy that um, does really really well at least it has for me over these years and um, We've seen quite a few people that come through the training in right way options improve their trading dramatically. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the best. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.